This is Michael Wu from eProgrammer.com. I'm going to talk about how to do thermal stress analysis. Well, I have already drawn a pen um, to use for this thermal stress analysis. Now, first of all, we are going to do a regular stress analysis. This part, if you don't know how to do it, you can review um, other tutorial video in our YouTube channel. So that is just a uh, we add a um, displacement constraint and add some force on the part, and then we are now going to do the regular stress analysis. Before that, we select the material to be uh, stainless steel. That is the result of the regular stress analysis. Now, we are going to do the thermal analysis. We go to the model, set up, change it to thermal. We are going to just to do the thermal analysis at this point. Now we go to do the static um, thermal study, state thermal study, um, and then we want the analysis. You can see this is the result of the uh, regular heat analysis. What we are going to do is thermal stress analysis. How does the thermal um, affect the regular stress? The heat affect the regular stress. We import the value from the uh, thermal analysis and then add on the regular force and us. And that is the result. You can see that is a significant difference between uh, regular force analysis, regular thermal analysis, and also the thermal stress analysis. This is the regular force analysis. That is the uh, thermal analysis, steady thermal analysis. <laughs>